Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to episode four, where I am going to take you down to Cider Town. Population, this guy. On this, your episode of Friday Feed Frank, you will. <laughs> Yoda. Crushed. Welcome to yet another episode of Feed Frank Friday. And this evening, you can see in front of me, Blake's Hard Cider Light Cider Drinks. I will be honest with you, not a big fan of ciders at all. Uh, I'm a man, I drink seltzers. But considering these ones limit the sugar intake, I decided I'd give them a try. And they're from our backyard, so to speak. They come from Blake's Orchard and Cider Mill in lovely Armada, Michigan. Have fantastic truffle fries there. So we've got four different flavors that we're going to sample. We've got the Mimosa, Melon, Strawberry, Kiwi, and we have the Guava, very exotic. There are four ingredients in each one of these ciders. Hard apple cider, filtered water, natural flavorings, and Michigan Beet sugar. How many drinks have you had with Michigan beet sugar? Zero. I bet that's the number. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out this sampling the same way I start out every single morning with a mimosa. Ooh, it's sizzling. Sizzling, that's not right. All right, so I, I'm not sure what I was expecting to smell, but it smells like a cider. And again, as I mentioned, I personally don't really care for ciders too much. But I do also smell mimosa. I mean, it tastes like a hard cider mimosa. It's got hints of citrus in it, which is actually kind of nice. Kind of plays on the back of the tongue there. Now this is a case, if we remember when I did the fall flannel seltzers, where I said they tasted like champagne, here this is what they're going for. So if this is just to this bottle, this the champagne taste, that's great. And it's not a dry taste. Almost reminds me of like a Prosecco. Am I saying that right? Prosecco? The citrus really comes through and that's actually pretty awesome. Now, typically with ciders, you get that overwhelming fermented apple taste, but this one seems to balance it really nicely. If I close my eyes, it really gives me the vibe that I'm drinking a mimosa. You get in the can there, Blake's free advertisement. Is this the first time we're starting off one of these and we're starting it off on a good foot? No, these bad boys are 5%. This could get ugly fast. Not a cider fan, but this was pretty good. So Mimosa, Blake's. I mean, we'll see where we go from here, but I have very high hopes. Next up, we have the melon flavor. What type of melon? We don't know. Could it be a water cantaloupe? A honeydew? You ever have a honeydew? It tastes like nothing. Ooh. Smelling it, this smells amazing. It smells like your generic melon flavoring, but I might like this one too. Now that's good melon flavor. I get the fermented apple cider flavor that comes through a little bit more than it did on the mimosa. But again, they seem to be able to balance the flavors here. This is tasty. I'm, I really actually am kind of digging these. Ah, look, made with real fruit, so real melon, no artificial sweeteners, just the natural flavorings. Wonder if one of the natural flavorings is Bath and Body Works cucumber melon. Not that I've, but it does kind of smell like that. I don't eat lotion. Maybe an exception with Victoria's Secret strawberries and cream, but a long time ago. It was good. The melon question mark comes through really well again that fermented cider taste stays to the back great job ladies and gentlemen we're two for two here i don't know what's happening let's see if we can keep this train going continuing to cruise down the light cider track strawberry kiwi i feel like at one point in time strawberry kiwi was like this fancy flavor now i feel like everything is strawberry kiwi 
This one smells a little interesting. I don't know how this one's gonna be. Now this one's different. I'll tell you the thing about this one, that like fermented cider taste. That now hits me first, whereas with the mimosa and the melon, I got the mimosa, I got the melon, and then afterwards, I got that faint cider taste. So it's kind of like an opposite thing we got going on here. This flavor feels a little forced. It almost tastes like when you, okay, as a kid, were you ever making Kool-Aid? Stick with me. Maybe a little bit of the powder got on your your, your finger or on the table. You, know, you, you, you took a little. So I'm getting a hard apple cider and powdered strawberry kiwi Kool-Aid. We were doing so good. Kool-Aid powder. That is what this is. Hard cider, Kool-Aid powder. Least favorite out of the bunch so far would be the strawberry kiwi. We're finishing everything off with the guava. Now I feel like guava, it's one of those super fruits that super fruit or superfood, whatever. So hopefully this gets me back on track. Strawberry kiwi took me down, wanting this guava to get me back. I'm willing to be the cider man, cider man. Smells guava-y and tastes guava-y. Now the guava is coming through. We've pushed that fermented apple cider to the back and turned me back into the cider man. Cider man, drinking cider out the cider can. Singing this here little cider jam. They are the gummy bears. Has anyone actually ever eaten a guava? Apparently they're the world's most popular fruit. Fruit? Most popular tropical fruit, that is. I like it. It's good. Here's the deal as I'm starting to near the end of these. More than likely, I'm not going to buy these again. However, the next time I visit Blake's, if they have these bad boys on tap, I'll drink them. And there you have it. All of the Blake's hard cider, light cider flavors. Mimosa, fantastic. Melon, Bath and Body Works, fantastic. Strawberry kiwi, Kool-Aid powder. Mm. The guava was tasty. Overall, I've got to recommend them. If you're a fan of ciders, but you know, you're trying to watch the, the sugar, the carb intake, these light ciders are great. So that's it for your episode four of Feed Frank Friday. Thank you all for tuning in. Please, if you have any suggestions for something I should do for an episode, let me know. Comment in the comments uh, below. Hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, at Frank J. Bonnie. Happy to sample something so you don't have to. That's why I'm here. That's why I do what I do. F cubed, AKA the Cider Man, out. Cider deuces.